Hey guys, how's it going? Sammy here. Today we're gonna talk about the announcement Blizzard made on BlizzCon. Um, first of all, it's been really a blast for me. I enjoyed my virtual ticket a lot, but to be honest, most of all I enjoyed Overwatch. The thing is, like three or four days ago, um, I actually recorded a video about me ranting about Hearthstone. But then I figured announcements are around the corner, so I should probably wait and make my video on those announcements and uh, release the rant thing a little bit later. So that's basically what's happening right now. I was actually pretty positive that as soon as I would watch the announcements, I would probably be in a positive mood again and I would be hyped and excited. But actually that's not what happened this time. This announcement really, really sucked. It's not that they didn't announce some good stuff, but to be honest, the only good thing they announced, in my opinion, is the new player mode, which which I'm a little bit excited about. Like, I think I will have some fun with it, but I don't think it's gonna reward you much since it's a free-to-play mode, so it's basically just fun until you um, are bored of it, which will probably, if you're playing as much as me, will probably happen after a few days, maybe a few weeks, if it's really good. I'm not gonna go into detail with all the cards, I will wait until more cards are getting released, which will start at the 20th of November, mostly because the cards weren't too great, like the cards we've seen on the announcement weren't that exciting for me, to be honest. They didn't feature any mechanics that were like innovative, surprising or really new to me. I don't see anything to be excited there, though the cards still gave us like a little bit of hinting in which direction this expansion will go and overall i like it like the it seems like we're going into a direction with like combo style cards like overall interesting cards i'm just doubting that these cards will have much of an influence they might have a big influence uh, next year when the new standard cycle hits, but right now I doubt that these kind of very balanced and well-designed cards will have much of an influence on the meta. But we'll see. I hope I'm getting surprised by, by good cards, by, by cards that will actually change something. Uh, to go into a little bit more into detail, um, they announced of course Marin the Fox, which is the legendary all Hearthstone players will get. The ones that uh, visited BlizzCon or had the virtual ticket will get it in gold and two. Um, it's not a very good card, I think I don't have to explain. Um, but of course the loot you can get is insane, so playing around with that will probably be fun, but it won't be that competitive. They also introduced uh, spell stones, which are spells that upgrade uh, based on a condition. I think that's a good design, I like the design, but I don't think it's powerful enough to compete in the current matter. Then they featured the new mechanic recruit. That's also uh, a thing why the announcement didn't really get me excited. Uh, I think recruit is a rather boring mechanic. Like it doesn't feel like it's it, it doesn't feel too new, right? We already had similar mechanics in the past, so making this a feature on cards like recruit it doesn't feel innovative to me. It doesn't uh, make me feel excited about the expansion and playing around with it actually. And then the other thing they introduced. Uh, weapons for every class, so every class is getting a legendary weapon this expansion. Those weapons seem to have really strong effects, but of course they are really weak to weapon removal, so if those weapons are actually played, I think we can kind of expect uh, a comeback of Harrison Jones. <laughs> Those weapons they showed us seemed pretty good, but me seeing the weapons doesn't make me think that we might see some complete new decks come out of this. It depends on the power level of those weapons really, if it's worth running them even though there is lots of weapon removal. Then I wanna shortly of course uh, also talk about the Warlock Legendary we got showed, um, because I think that's like the biggest joke, really. It kind of shows how Blizzard wanted to implement a really strong mechanic where the player feels really powerful. Like destroying your opponent's deck definitely feels really powerful, but they kind of figured that it's 
a little bit OP if you destroy your opponent's deck, so they basically made it unplayable. You get 5 seals. At the earliest you can start at 6 mana. Every seal costs 5 mana, so like you can't expect to like play that every turn. Because your opponent is probably gonna play shit uh, and you will probably have to react to that. Uh, those seals will summon like little demons, but let's be let's be real here. Like five mana do nothing for like five turns. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. So I do wonder, like, if you at all complete that, and after the it's not like after the fifth seal you just destroy your deck. No, you have to spend another ten mana on a ten ten. Um, so, if you actually are able to complete that and are not dead at that point, will your opponent even have much of a deck left at that point? Yeah, th there are decks that where you will always get value against if you if you finish that quest, kind of. Um, like Dead Man's Hand Warrior, of course. Maybe Jade Druid, uh, but well... The Jade Druid has evolved and it's not so much about having like endless Jade Idols in the deck anymore. It's still a funny thing to do, but of course it's not competitive. This card looks just like a failure to me. It's like, yeah, let's let's make something awesome where the player feels really powerful, but yeah, if we do that, if you can destroy your opponent's deck, that's not very interactive. Um, let's make it weaker and weaker. And I do agree, it's way too powerful to destroy your opponent's deck, but maybe you should have just made another legendary then, where you can feel really powerful in the end. If you destroyed your opponent's deck successfully, you're not gonna feel powerful. No, it's. I mean, you're still gonna be a legend for your endurance and for your passion to do this, but that's really it. So overall, um, I myself, I'm actually not too excited yet, but I'm really looking forward to the card reveal starting the 20th of November, and I hope that will change my opinion. Um, I don't know why, but I'm kind of disappointed with the announcement, even though I do like the fact that they made a new play mode. I think that was like needed a long time ago already, and I'm really looking forward for that. Um, I also get that the last expansion for a cycle is always uh, it's always difficult for that expansion to really make a huge impact because there are the most cards in the standard mode available right now so naturally this expansion can't, will not have as much of an impact as the earlier expansions. The cards sh would have to be very broken and we know we don't want that. Like uh, the last expansion that was the end of a cycle was Main Streets of Gadgetson and it did introduce super broken cards like Jade Idol. Um, and they did do that to have an impact on the meta, even though there are so many cards. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to see another Jade Idol. But the problem still is, the meta we have right now, I'm really getting bored of it. So on one hand, uh, I'm really bored of that meta, I want to see something different. On the other hand, I don't want to see a Jade Idol 2.0. Um, so I guess in the end I just want the year of the mammoth to end. <laughs> Please. Like, if we could just shift to the next standard year in December, that would be really amazing. <laughs> I know it's not gonna happen, so I'm just hoping to see some fun cards uh, starting the 20th of November, uh, which will really give me some inspiration to try out new stuff and um, I'm still really positive that we will have like one to three weeks of playing around after the new expansion is released. But for now, I, I've got to say I'm a little bit bored of Hearthstone again, so this month we're not gonna play much of Hearthstone. I'm sorry, but if you enjoy some other cool RPGs and stuff, uh, check out the stream anyways. We're playing some Xenoblade Chronicles right now, since in December the second part is released, and we're probably gonna start Destiny 2. Um, yeah, we're just playing all kinds of stuff. That's fun, basically. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't enjoy it, please hit the thumbs down button. Uh, please, if you do that, leave a comment. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not the person sitting here to give you like some real hype for the new expansion. I just don't feel that hype myself. Um, but I hope together we'll 
endure it and together we will find some hype again. <laughs> well, guys, see you in the following days with my Hearthstone Rant video, probably. Bye bye!